third. The next 13. Darren Collison for three. Yeah, they did what they were supposed to do at home. Played hard, but Boston a little bit too tough. You know uh, where Gordon Hayward was born? Yeah. Indianapolis. Really? Oh, he played in Butler. Three in a row. He asked me that. Well, oh, this was oh, nice. Oh, that was nice. That's Miles Turner. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Indiana 49. Home, Gordon. <laughs> oh, that was Let awesome. Me present you with this poster. <laughs> Boyan Bogdanovich. Taking it to the roof. Nice. Yeah. They really missed had the 22. Goal, the depot, man. Yeah, this would have been a good series. Oh, it would have been a great series. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. Shake uh -oh. Uh -oh. Shake down to the breakdown. How about... <laughs> Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Boston up one after three. I would love to see Terry Rozier and him in practice. They were riding the seesaw in the fourth quarter. Oh, this guy played today. He played good. Yeah, Marcus Morris had 18. Tyreek Evans right oh, back Euro. at you. Euro step and a half. Indiana 82 to 80. Swing, swing. Bing, bling. <laughs> what was your thing? What was your thing that one night? The old cartoon. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> there you go. I'll tell you what. Uh, we out. We out. Look up. One more. Oh, right back to him. Oh, he is. He gonna finish that. I guess. Fifteen to three, Boston run there, and that swing pretty much to that. the that. Free to get your hand up. Yeah, it's too late. Oh, at the crib. Yeah, at the crib. The hometown kid. Oh, yeah, Twenty to that. Right? Yes, he did. Shoot Seven like out of nine. Too. And three out of three from deep. Mm. Indiana. Uh, Boston, Milwaukee. Woo, that's going to be good. Clean sweep, one, uh, 110 to 106. First sweep for the Celtics of a uh, best of seven um, since 2011. First round against New York. Uh, let's hear more on this from uh, Rebecca Harlow. Here in a sweep is the head coach of the Celtics. And while Kyrie Irving was the MVP through the first three games, no doubt it was his bench that stepped up big time today, scoring 49 points. That's something the Celtics tell me will be critical as their team moves into round two. We have a, a great diet of plays that we want to run, um, that work. Um, and we have guys that want to make plays. And when you put the ball in their hands and they're able to do that, um, they were pretty successful. Different nights, it might be somebody different based off a of matchup, based off of somebody's potentially a little banged up, um, based off somebody's just having a good night and somebody's not. I mean, I think um, that's where we can really be dangerous. I think that for us, it's just the maturity down the stretch. Um, being able to trust one another with the pass, being able to make plays and trust that the other guy's going to see you if you're open, but if not, then the next play needs to be made. So it's just the next play mentality which has helped us. We've talked about our depth as a positive. We knew coming into the year it was going to be a challenge. But if it all comes together, it can be a positive. And it's, you know, we're still hopefully trending upward. We don't, you know, we want to be playing better each time we take the court. Looks like the Celtics got it going on right now, doesn't it, Charles? <laughs> Yes, of course, they play <laughs> Indiana Pacers. What's going to be interesting when they play Milwaukee is the injury to Marcus Smart. Because, uh, you know, nobody can guard Giannis. But if you want one guy who got the size, somewhat size and strength, it would be Marcus Smart. So I'm curious to see where he's at. Uh, you think he has a size? I mean, um, he's, he's, no, 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 he has... For Middleton. Uh, yeah, he can't well, but, no, but, nice. but no, he, he going to guard Giannis. I mean, he can't guard Giannis, but... He's got the mentality to try to guard with, with the point I'm trying to make. Marcus Smart on Giannis. Yeah. The bench, 49 po points yeah, for Boston that's, today. That's that was their high for the series, and it came from three guys, Hayward, Rozier, Marcus Morris, who hit a combined 69% and 7 out of 11. Now the question, can you get that? On a consistent no, basis you can get on it. that Boston bench. You can, get, you can get that consistently, but is it going to be enough? You know, Marcus Smart... I met Marcus Smart. Um, Marcus yeah. Morris. Marquise Morris. Marcus, Marcus Morris. Morris. Haywood. <laughs> Sorry I brought it up. Rozier. Uh -huh. All of those guys have, they're proven that they can score in the playoffs. They're, they're not like, this is their first time doing this. This is what they did all last year when those guys were out, uh, except for Haywood obviously coming in his first year, and he's done it with Utah. So this is not unusual for them. This is uh, uncommon. This is what they're going to have to consistently do. But will it be enough? Because the Milwaukee Bucks have improved dramatically from last year. This is not the same team. They have more guys with more confidence and more scoring ability. Uh, you know, guys coming off the bench, they have more of that.
This is a different team with experience, and you add Lopez to the mix in the starting lineup who spreads the floor. Who shoot, I think he's, I heard something or I was reading where he shoots 65% of his shots come from three-point land. But then he, he's a rim protector. So now all of a sudden when he shoots the three, he doesn't have as far to go back to play defense. He doesn't go from baseline to baseline. He goes from three-point line to baseline. So he's, he can be more effective as well. This is a different team. And when you're on a team that's expected to go far, your superstars are not going to play well every night. So if you can get a, 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 a consistent scoring from your bench, this will do very well. Tonight, Kyrie didn't play the perfect game, but the other guys came off the bench and they played well. And they needed it tonight. So at times, they're going to need it. So when they need it, if the bench can provide that, then they should go pretty far. Well, In, the, Indiana, key, go ahead. key is going to be... And I keep saying to Eric Bledsoe. Number one, we got to worry about uh, Brockton, Malcolm Brockton, the, the Buckley, him. But to me, the key is going to be Eric Bledsoe. I've been saying that all year. The Milwaukee Bucks are only going to for, go as far as Eric Bledsoe. Giannis going to do his thing. Middleton going to do his thing. But uh, the reason I said Bledsoe, he's got, he, he got to place on an even kill with Kyrie. It can't be a 30 to 10 a third or 15 beat down every game. He's got to keep it somewhat level, and he's got to control the tempo of the game, more importantly. When Milwaukee gets in the half court, they get very stagnant. But Bledsoe got to keep the pace up, but he's got to compete with Kyrie. Indiana actually led at the half in three of the four games in this series, but Boston plus 39 in the second half, and it is a sweep. Second time the Pacers have been swept in the last three years. Um, Big golden nugget. Close. <laughs> That's like that, Jonathan. The Big East. <laughs> oh, I like the big giant Oscar. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I do like that one. I like that one. Ah, I like that. I do like that. Yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That was funny. Yeah, oh, I like that one. <laughs> I pity the fool. I think that came from Alex upstairs. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And we've played them out. Uh, the lasting image of the first half of this game, the stunned disbelief oh, of Nick Nurse. The, that's going to be a meme. As he was oh, that's watching cool. after his team was called for a turnover. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. There was a three-second violation, which was the call. And Nick Nurse <laughs> just saw Shaq's feet, or Nick Nurse just saw that's Shaq's good. suit. Uh, that's, that's also a that's possibility. Funny, Carly that's good. That's good. Uh, Carly. The guy eating behind. And if you if you weren't with us earlier, yes, here's here is the uh, the Easter the the big the Easter golden. egg. Uh, the golden. Shaquille O'Neal is. I told him CeeLo. <laughs> I told him CeeLo. <laughs> I said it. CeeLo, uh, the big CeeLo. Uh, underdog put that on a T-shirt. <laughs> I had I had somebody. Where is underdog? Huh? He's, on, he's, he's been he's on the road with working. the Houston yeah. series. He's oh, a okay. field producer. Yeah, he's, he, uh, missed, he left me for Al La Forest. I had somebody I had somebody tweet me in the first half and said I needed to speak louder because they couldn't hear me over Shaq's suit. So it was good. But they hit it, Shaq. There you go. I liked it. Um, it's the American Express halftime report, by the way, and here are the American Express teammates in the first half. Uh, they're going to come from the Toronto side, as you might expect. Kawhi Leonard's got 18 on 6 out of 9. Pascal Siakam, we talked about uh, his improvement. Th that last postseason to this postseason, about 7 points a game to 24 points a game. He's got 12. And um, Toronto has blown this thing open. It was, at one point, 43 to 39. In fact, it was a 9 to 1 start for Orlando. And since that time, it's been 57 to 33. Uh, so let's talk about Kawhi Leonard and what you've seen in the first half. Kawhi Leonard knows the importance of this game. Uh, he's been on the championship team with Hall of Famers, and, and as a matter of fact, he was still the guy on that team. So he's saying, you know what, guys, just follow me today. I'm going to do what I do. Put my head down, go to the hole, read the defense. You know, he was, uh, before he, you know, had the, had the situation last year, we was arguing about what, whether he was the second or third best player. He's starting to get back to that form. But again, he knows the importance of this game. Kenny, he's just going on and say, move out my way, follow me. That's right, repost. Get these little guys off me, there. too. Oh, I miss it. That's okay. Get the rebound. That's Pull a out. tough shot, man. They're going to play me. Tough shot, fade away in your face. And, Kenny, I was getting ready, you know, to, to, to ask my guy Chuck. I'm like, Chuck, where do you place Kawhi Leonard at now? Shaq, I can't mm. believe you said that. And then this happened. <laughs> Chuck. What's uh -oh, Charles. Fading. Barkley. <laughs> Charles, I want to ask you about Kawhi. 
Chuck. Oh. <laughs> hey, Chuck, I want to ask you about Kawhi. What, what did you have? Having those headphones, like the sound of waves crashing, or was it Charles, a rainforest? Charles, it was. I was watching. I, want to ask you about you know, I was watching 60 Minutes. They were doing a thing, especially on Easter Island. Yeah, but it's it, over it was by that Chile. Yeah, I know. Sleepy. So uh, it was beautiful. Apparently, but check. It had, apparently, uh, it no. did not. Uh, Sleep nights. No, all no, of I, didn't get nights. I didn't get to take my nap today because I was watching golf. Okay. But, uh, but, 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 <laughs> what are you, three? Look at these, to these excuses. I'm taking a nap. I didn't have my warm milk today. So, but you know what, Shaq? <laughs> Before you even said it, I was writing my notes down. And which was? I was going to ask you guys, because Shaq, you're right. We were talking about who was better after LeBron, KD, or Kawhi two years ago. And I'm making my list here. Checking it twice. And I said, LeBron... KD, Giannis, James, and Kawhi. Those are the five best basketball players, in my play, opinion. You, you don't think um, that order. Steph Curry is in that order? In that. It's not in front of these guys. I'm just asking a question. Well, a question. Ask me a question. If, I, if I said the damn answer, don't ask me no, the question. Didn't, I, I didn't know we, that was the answer. We know from past experience that sometimes your lists are subject to change. Well, now, I, 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 I love Steph Curry, but these three guys here. Um, is you that don't have order? Westbrook in there. Is that uh, Walt Paul George? If I don't slap the hell out of you on national television, it's you know, Easter it's, it's Sunday, my list. Charles. Be nice. It's, my it's not this, but you ain't think about it. You just wrote it down five I, seconds I didn't ago think about while you were sleeping. You were sleeping. You couldn't have thought about I it. I just long. wrote it when I came out here awoke. That's my point. So you might have messed it up. In that told, order, so you yeah, got he KD, came out here fifth awoke. best player now. LeBron, KD, Giannis, Kawhi, and James. Don't be my top five. Got it. You, but you, uh, you haven't shared much on the first half at this no, point. No, I mean, I mean that, that's an interesting lift if we were worried about who was the best players today, but I think he was just talking about... Well, he asked were, a question. Where, he was just talking about where does Kawhi he asked fit a, yeah. someone who's relevantly playing in the game. He today. asked me... He I asked, would say, as I... Uh, <laughs> I would say that <laughs> Kawhi is uh, probably at the bottom five, moving back up. He's at five. That's where I got him! But I don't, I'm just. That's where I got him. That's what I think, Shaq. Argue with me yeah. for two. I didn't argue with you. What, what, asked you, did you leave what, off anyone else? What, would Steph make your list? Steph would pop. Yes, yeah, he would make definitely. my list. Over who? I would say that he would make my list, and I will give Over you Harden. my yeah, okay. I, I would say. Hank Harden, yeah. the best offensive player we've ever seen in the yeah, NBA, and, arguably, today. And Steph is the best shooter we've ever yeah, seen in the NBA, NBA, arguably, James today. averaged more points. That's because he took more, more assists. Look at, look at, look at Charles hanging his shots. Look at Charles hanging his head on stats. Gotta get that man credit, man. Oh, oh he, he, my he, goodness. He's nice. Yeah, that man. man. Nice. Wow. I don't even like analytics. I, I think that, you know, <laughs> it, it, I think this really? argument is, is subjective, and it well, doesn't really matter. Is that Bell Bar? I would say he's getting a lot better. He's 16 point game at the break, boys and girls. Welcome. Bernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley, and my goodness. Easter fresh over there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like. Hi. Hey. Goodness. Hey. Whoa. In the word, hey, in the words of my boy Rick Flair. Whoa! Look at looking like gold bomb for real. You look Happy like Happy Easter that. to everyone out there. It's, you know, and it's my Easter suit. You know, well, the new obviously thing is? it is. Yep. You know, you the new CeeLo Green up in here, boy. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> wow. hey, you know what? And to think it's funny, I just saw it on TV. TV doesn't do it justice. No, no TV like, does not do it justice, boy, because you you, <laughs> so, you something you, tells hey, me you didn't glowing get, right now. Something tells me you didn't get that off the rack, Shaq. No, that's not definitely off the rack. Jack Penny, right? baby. Jack yeah. Penny? Right. I, yeah. Jack Penny. Oh, yeah. Easter fresh, boy. <laughs> hey, I thought, I thought Chuck, friends. you was doing it. I thought you was doing it, Ernie. Yeah. We are nowhere close. No, this is, we a, this nowhere is a different close. league right here. Here's the doubleheader we got on tap tonight here on TNT. The Raptors and the Magic. That gets us started at and the top of the, the hour. And we got two. I cannot wait for yeah. that. Yeah, game four between the Blazers and the Thunder out there at the peak in OKC. Fortunes can change in what seems like a blink in the NBA playoffs in Orlando Friday night for the first time in the series. Nikola Vucevic looked like the all-star he was this season. He scored 14 straight points in the third quarter. The Magic had the lead. And then the Raptors went on a 16-0 run, which had Orlando fighting from behind and ultimately falling short in the fourth quarter. Trailing in the series now for the first time, Orlando looks for the equalizer. 
And we look to Jared Greenberg for a game four preview. Jared. Well, EJ, happy Easter to you. This morning, a member of the Raptors organization telling me they feel like all the pressure for tonight's game four is firmly on the Orlando Magic. The Raptors feeling good, not just because they're on the brink of sending the uh, magic towards elimination, but also because their best player is feeling good. Kawhi Leonard finally admitted this morning that he played game three with flu-like symptoms, went through a hydration program, and is ready to go for tonight. Now, as far as the magic, listen, they've been playing really good defense over the first three games of this series. It's on the other end of the court that's been a challenge, especially when you consider that they fell behind 11-0 in game two and 10-0 in game three. His offense, you know, can come and go, but if you really want to, you know, take it to the highest level, you have to have both. You have to be balanced in both, and you see the best teams always in regular seasons are teams that are, you know, top five in offense and defense, and uh, you just have to be, you know, at, at some point you're going to have to put the ball in the basket, which is the point of playing the game of basketball. Uh, you know, and as, as much as defense is important and something that you know you can rely on every night, you know, it doesn't you know, take shot making, it's just, you know, it just takes effort, focus, determination. Uh, there comes a point where, you know, if, if you don't score, you're going to struggle. You know, your defense can only take you so far. In search of more offense, Steve Clifford says they may go to Terrence Ross slightly earlier tonight than usual, but he's not ready to switch his starting lineup that has gotten him to this point. Coach Clifford saying the fact of the matter is we win tonight. We head to Toronto for game five on Tuesday with all the momentum of this series. EJ, back to you in Atlanta. All right, thank you very much to Jared and his uh, all-world hair for that. Uh, for yes. That life. It's one of the best heads of hair. Well, because he's like a girl. It's, it takes him like three hours to fix just his hair. Oh, well, I, was, I mean, I was trying to pay him a compliment. You didn't need to. Three and a, three and a half ball time. guys can't talk about Seriously. a guy's hair. Yeah. You talk about who's that guy. He's got the best hair. I don't think half. he won't even let you touch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's Ernie, that fade is tight. The fade is tight, though. Wow. The fade. You know, the fade. you know who showed up at the Wait, studio we yesterday. Side views? We got this five side views. Woo! Yesterday, Thanks my man, Troy, my side. man Troy Higgins. Yeah. First of all, I want to know Troy. Cutters Troy, Lounge. First of all, he does Atlanta. a great job with your hair, but he can't be charging you full price. Yes, he is. As no, a matter of fact, you have to have a full head of hair to charge. He full could price. charge me whatever he'd like, and you know I would pay it. Yeah. Uh, so, so this Toronto Orlando game. So now we know that Kawhi Leonard wasn't feeling up to snuff the other day. Pascal Siakam was. Pascal Siakam went for 30 points and 11 rebounds. And you talk about a guy, you talk about, you know, probably the most improved player in the league. But you look at his numbers last year in the postseason compared to what he's doing this year in the postseason. Uh, well, under seven last year, 24 this year. Look at the field goal attempts. Why weren't they playing four them? Four last year, 20. Look at, the, look at the rebound. This year, and the rebounds from just around four to up to 10. Who was playing over him last year? Uh, that's, no, that's, he was. He, was, he yeah. wasn't ready last year. No, you can't jump from six to twenty-four. Yeah, you can. You can uh, jump uh, from six. That's a big jump. You can jump from uh, six hard to, work. Have six I, to I, fifteen. Uh, uh, hard work and opportunity I, in the summer. Well, I that's think they're just giving him more minutes. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. you had DeRozan and Lowry on right. that team. Well, that year. explains it. Yeah. That explains it. DeRozan is going to get all those other okay. shots. He's a better player. Stop it, Kenneth. No, I just asked who was playing over him. I didn't say I wasn't arguing with anyone. I was just asked, well, who's playing over with a guy who nobody's went from playing six over to now? That's a big jump. Usually a jump from 6 to 15. You don't to jump me, from to 6 me, to he's, 25. To me, he's their second best player. Uh, in Without question. Opinion. Yeah, he's their second best player. Which he's not supposed to be, but okay. But, but he is. But to me, this is a, a, a win. Toronto's going to win again tonight, in my opinion. And Shaq and Kenny know this. When you're playing in the NBA, it's starting to get serious now. You're just trying to get through the first round. We know who's going to win these first round series pretty much, except for a couple might sway here or there. But they paid attention to Boston. They paying attention to Philly. They're paying attention to Milwaukee. They're like, we need to get this thing over. Because the last thing you want is those teams having like a week to rest and you killing yourself in six, seven games. Yeah, what, the, what that really means, Ernie, to me is when you say, we need to get it over with. It's when, you, when you're sitting in an NBA pregame meeting and it's game 58, got coaches talking, Guys are stretching. There may be a guy, you know, talking to the other, whispering, whatever. But when you're in this, in this scenario in the playoffs, everyone's pens are downs, everyone's folded and needs of, and, and, and paying attention to what the coach is saying on the board. So that's when he says, oh, we're trying to get rid of this team. There's no stretching going on. No one's going to admit, oh, I didn't hear that. 
I didn't hear that we were doing that. Oh, my bad. There's no bat my bads in the playoffs. That, that excuse does not go fly when you go tell your teammate, my bad. This is get it done, pay attention, and understand what's going on. Jack, I want to ask you about Orlando because they've, the Toronto defense has just put a blanket on these guys in the series. 38% field goal shooting, only allowing 93 points a game. If you're Orlando, where are you going to get points in this game? Where does it have to come back uh, from, and how do you kind of duplicate what you did in game one when you took the home court away? Well, game one, everybody played collectively great. Uh, I don't like something that Vucevic said. He, you know, he kept saying, we got to get better shots. We got to move the ball. I remember one time I said that, and Phil Jackson said, we is you. You're our best player. We follow you. You got to move the ball. You got to hustle. You got to hit shots. I don't know what his average is, but... You just said, and you know, when you did your, you know, teleprompter thing, that he finally, you know, it's too late for a guy to finally, you know, be scoring 14 points in the third quarter. He has that ability. He has to step up. Chuck's been saying it, you know, a long time. Your best player has to play great. Yes. Everyone else has to follow. And him, this is his, you know, first real time in the playoff where he I is the guy. So he's got to figure it out now. This yes, is part of right. that maturation but process. There is, there is one. They almost won the game the other day because of the way he played in the third quarter. So he needs to do that at least. Three quarters out of four. There is one guy who I chance. think has an opportunity, Aaron Gordon. I think he has got to really be the other guy to step up to help Vucevic on the, on, as far as the big guys. Because right now, uh, it's, they're just not scoring enough. You got to score. Uh, but if I had to pick one guy, you ask a guy, it, 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 in my opinion, it had to be Aaron Gordon. Vucevic, by the way, 21 and 12 in enough. the regular season. As right. a, no, 21 and 12 right. as an All Star this season and in the series. 13 and 9. That's awful. Shooting he's, uh, 38%. He's been traded. Huh? <laughs> he said right we. Now. Yeah, there is no we in that. Yeah, you know, that's awful. He's finna get 150 million. I, I know so today the season's over. Enough. Enough. It is a 2 uh, 1 series in favor of the Toronto Raptors game four, top of the hour <laughs> here, on, <laughs> here on TNT. Keep them coming. The best gold member. Impression. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like the golden ticket. I love it. Yeah. Keep them coming. Uh, <laughs> go mine. <laughs> That's funny too, Hudson. I Hudson think we, did. I like you know, we could go right to the top hey. of the hour probably <laughs> with all of these. Oh, uh, man. I love it. Uh, Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Anything else? Oh, or we're, or we're fresh out. Gold bond, baby. Man up. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah, and you did man, man up. Man, I'm today. telling you, TV's doing it no good. <laughs> no, that ain't a, uh, your auntie ain't have a tablecloth like that. You know my name today, Ernie? Hmm? The big Calvin Murphy. The, the big <laughs> Calvin Murphy. Hey, Calvin Murphy would look at this and say, now that's nice. <laughs> or he uh, might, no, Calvin that's Murphy too much. And Happy Walt, Easter, Calvin. That's too much. Hey, and, Happy Easter, Mommy, love you. And, and, and Walt, Walt Frazier would look.